Match 60, King Ghidorah vs. Mecha King Ghidorah by Kenneth James. The city of Osaka was in utter chaos as a golden terror descended. The three-headed Hydra cast its snaking gravity bolts down on the city below. Stinking? Uh, snaking. Sending up plumes of smoke and debris high into the air. Though it was... It was the middle of the day. It couldn't be seen due to the destruction King Ghidorah had wrought. And naturally, the mother floated nearby, watching the chaos. <clears throat> Wilson Thanks, and Mom. <laughs> Wilson and Grinchiko laughed as their mind-controlled puppet rained destruction down upon the unsuspecting city. Uh, this is Grinchiko, uh... Uh, Nagoda, your part. Wait, I read... Okay, yeah, you're so... you're you're Grand Chico by default. Out... <coughs> Wait, what? You're Grand Chico by default. Oh, okay then. Our plan is working. Our plan is working out so well this time. I didn't think we'd be able to pull it off after what happened last time. Stated Grand Still Chico. Still better than Grand Chico. Uh, stated Grand Chico, ecstatic about what was ha transpiring. Agreed. Thankfully, the failsafe has managed to trigger enough to send us back to the future before that blasted Godzilla destroyed the first ship. Replied Wilson. Uh, Re replied Wilson. Then it was just a matter of stealing an another time machine and finding another atomic test to turn the three Dorats into another King Ghidorah! Grinchiko nodded, smiling as he watched King Ghidorah. Yay! <laughs> smiling as he watched King Ghidorah land and unleash a windstorm with his huge wings. And the best part, we didn't even need to get Godzilla out of the way this time. He melted down in Tokyo years ago. This time, there's nothing to stop us. Wilson, <laughs> Wilson nodded with a smile. This time, Japan will have no choice but to give it to our demands! Suddenly, alarms went off in the time machine, alerting them to do something. Hey, you gonna, you gonna do something about this? What's going on? Asked Grinchiko, looking at the monitor. There's a time distortion. Someone must have followed us back in time. Suddenly, the air distorted and warped until a bright flash materialized into the massive form of Mecha King Ghidorah. Even so firmly under his master's control, master's controls, King Ghidorah couldn't help but backpedal at the sight of his cyborg double as it landed in, on the street a good distance away, sending cars Did you and say dust. Backpedal. Yeah, backpedal, back backpedal, whatever. I don't think that's how you say that correctly. I, 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 it's a different accent, okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> sending cars and dust flying from. The land from the landing as energy crackled about his armor. Jeez, that's a long sentence. The cybernetic beast screeched loudly as his fully biologic at his fully biological counterpart, green optics locking on from the middle head. <clears throat> on the time machine, Emikamo's image appeared on their screen from Mecha King Ghidorah's cockpit. Did you think I really get For some Did reason you... I <clears throat> This is my For some line. reason I thought you I thought you said you weren't gonna say pit. And just like, just, this is my line, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to my trailer. <laughs> Did you really think I'd let you get away with trying this again? She... <laughs> nice. She asked, angered that her homeland once more faced destruction at the hands of her two former <clears throat> comrades. Yeah. So what? That's just an everyday occurrence for Japan. <laughs> All right. Wilson looked surprised, but then chuckled. Impressive trick! You salvaged the remains of Mecha King Ghidorah in the future and rebuilt it again! Don't ask how we didn't notice, but if you think you can beat the real thing, you're sadly mistaken! It did, it's not like it didn't happen before! Haha! <laughs> we'll see. M11, let's do this, said Emmy. She refused to allow them to desecrate her homeland once again. You didn't bring the toilet bag for this time Zaza. either! They do, do have a point, Zaza, Zaza, Zaza. We must have assumed a cybernetic upgrade will give us a bad, 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 b
You sound exactly like Jason Allen Scott. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Robert Good. Scott Field. Robert Al Robert Scott. Yeah. We should we should have tried to we should have tried to convince him to come on. Oh, that so would, we can oh do this. man, that was so. Good. I don't think he has a Discord though. I don't think he has a Discord. Oh well. Would have to do this I would have happily used Skype again just for this. Oh heck yeah. But uh yeah. Sorry. Continue. Said M11. His Android brain, Android brain part of the cyborg's operating system. Emmy ignored him and opened fire, ca casting a spiraling green and purple laser from Mecha King Ghidorah's central head. King Ghidorah merely brought his wings forward, sending sparks cascading from the si side of impact down down the wings, but absorbing the laser. The golden dragon opened his wings with a screech. Wilson laughed. Ha 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 ha! Killer King Ghidorah! Uh, I'll 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 pass, Harley. King Ghidorah screeched as he let loose of his trio of golden gravity beams on his counterpart. Mecha King Ghidorah's wings were no longer as flexible and unable to shield him against the energy attacks. The beam striking the chest, sending the sparks flying through the machinery inside and out. <laughs> Emmy shielded her eyes against the sparks inside the cockpit until it settled down. Emmy Mecha King Ghidorah's machinery is more fragile than King Ghidorah's biology. The armor can stand up better to melee attacks. Get close. Oh, damn it. He's skipping again. He's just smacking Emily upside the head of it. Come on, stop. I am currently running on Windows 98. It's the best we could do. All right, M11. Emmy nodded, commanding Mechie King to... Oh, oh, wait, that's right, uh, Harley. Give you Windows 10 because you wanted a girlfriend with Cortana. Uh, <laughs> Windows 10 isn't much better. I would recommend Windows 7. <laughs> Emmy nodded, command... Any, Emmy nodded, commanding Mechie King to take flight to evade another cascade of gravity rays. I don't think they know... I don't think they remember what King Ghidorah's beam is, do they? Eh, gravity rays, gravity beams, whatever. Mecha King Ghidorah flew forwards, crashing into the Golden Dragon with his legs, plowing King Ghidorah backwards to the ground. Could raise again, could rise again. Mecha King Ghidorah came crashing down on his chest with great force before lifting it back into the air and repeating the act twice more. Mecha King Ghidorah rose higher into the air and sent a barrage of gravity beams and lasers raining down on King Ghidorah. Same thing, to better no big deal. Still, the three-headed timer managed to rise! His golden stales managing to withstand the assault but still capable of fighting back. King Ghidorah lifted off into the air, charging straight at Mecha King Ghidorah. Amy saw this coming in... Fly, you're flying over him, allowing Mecha King Ghidorah's metal tip tails to rake across King Ghidorah's back and sending the shower sparks flying. I tried to catch the cyborg kind of part, but Mecha King Ghidorah was fast enough to keep out of his reach. King Ghidorah opened fire with his gravity beam, sending them across the robot's back and sending sparks. Mecha King Ghidorah lost altitude as its systems tried to compensate for the damage, but before they could, King Ghidorah sent another assault of gravity rays with the cyborg protector. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> These Ghidorahs. Mecha King Ghidorah went plummeting. T You're going to have fun reading the triple match, the three Ghidorah match, then, oh, aren't gosh, you? Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> Mecha King Ghidorah went plummeting from the sky, screeching in surprise as Emmy tried to fight the futuristic dragon before impact, but to no. to the bottom and badly damaging the cyborg. King Ghidorah cackled in victory, landing a short distance away and approaching the down cyborg. Amy was unconscious in the cockpit, having been thrown around by the crash. Amy, me, 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 me. King Ghidorah is approaching. Blah, 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 Yelled M11. You have to get up, and then, and then, and then, and then, Mickey Mouse. King Ghidorah will Mickey be right Mouse. on top of blah, 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 us. Pa uh, and pass. All right, Nagoto. Nikoda okay, said, hold up, hold up. I passed yeah, to myself to again. Yeah, well, I passed it to, to clean, myself. Yeah, Nagoda has to clean a bathroom because he was thrown yeah. up over the mat. Right, clean uh, the I'll, toilet! I'll take over for a little bit, then I'll pass to Alex. 
Emmy managed Ooh, to regain okay. consciousness and climbed back into her seat, waiting for King Ghidorah to get close. She suddenly launched Mecha King Ghidorah to his feet, latching his right and left head heads around Ghidorah's outer necks, or King Ghidorah's outer necks, sinking into the golden flesh. All three heads screeched in pain as sharp teeth lacerated their flesh, but the middle one was soon silenced by a laser for the cyborg protector's middle head. His right eye exploded into a shower of blood, and his face was horribly burned by the attack, sending the middle of his, of his head into convulsions of pain. The Golden Dragon's masters overrode his pain response, allowing him to bite down on the mechanical neck of his double. The two dragons pushed mm, against each other, royal. against against one another, trying to get get the upper hand. Seeing as all their heads were disabled in some way, they finally toppled through Osaka Castle, crushing the ancient structure to nothing but ruins. But Mecha King Ghidorah got the advantage, slamming King Ghidorah's outer heads into the moat. King Ghidorah screeched in pain, screeched in pain with his middle head, while his other two were drowning in the moat. Still, the center head refused to release its grip, starting to tear circuitry. He forced himself up, allowing the other two heads to breathe. They, they too managed to free themselves and fire gravity bolts, piercing holes in the cyborg's mechanical wings, sending sparks flying in the cockpit. King Ghidorah then released his grip and took flight, performing a flying kick into Mecha King Ghidorah's chest, toppling the Guardian backwards into a building. Before Mecha King Ghidorah could rise, King Ghidorah latched his jaws around the necks of the cyborg, tearing into flesh and metal with, re re with reckless abandon, blood and machine fluid spurting. Oh, uh, I mean, me, 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 me. let's finish him off with the machine hand. Sorry, my programming was delayed due to you still keeping me on Windows fucking 98, you bitch. Bit, 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 bit. Said M11. Emmy nodded, pulling Mechi King Ghidorah up to his feet as King Ghidorah struggled to force his cybernetic counterpart down. She reached up and pulled a lever, causing four clamps attached to cables to shoot out of Mechi King Ghidorah's chest. They attached to King Ghidorah's legs and outer heads, sending powerful electric pulses into the Golden Hydra. Emmy pressed a button on the same lever, and the cyborg's chest plate opened to reveal the machine hand. Which surged out, clamping onto King Ghidorah's midsection and pushing him back, tearing his jaws off the Mecha King Ghidorah, off the Mecha King Ghidorah and leaving deep grooves in the armor and scars in the flesh of the cyborg. Holy crap, that was a long sentence. Again, the restraints... I see the theme for this. I see the theme for this session is run on sentences. Which match uh, Ghidorah's serpentine yep. necks, anyway. How did this pass? The restraints sent powerful energy shocks into King Ghidorah's body, causing him to screech in pain, losing strength to the attack quickly. I'll pa I'll mostly pass the rest to Alex from here on, but, you know, first a dialogue piece from yours truly. So, technically, pass to Alex, but... <clears throat> Let's give Wilson and Grinchico an up-close look at their monster. Said Emmy, commanding Mecha King Ghidorah to rise into the air, carrying the paralyzed Hydra along with it. Wilson and Greninja watched the sight in disbelief. King Ghidorah lost. King Ghidorah what? Gotta be specific, Hydra. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm taking over Grand Chico for Nagoda. So, okay, King Ghidorah I... lost. Yeah, dramatic pause for tension. Don't you mean sexual tension? <laughs> no, well, I'm just going to assume he said it. Hey, hey, how you doing? Good. Ush. Jane, we'll need to make a stronger monster next time. Let's head to a different time period. We can't let Emmy catch us. <laughs> Sorry, Wilson. Greninja blinked. Wilson, where is she taking King Ghidorah? The two looked up from the screen out the window as it opened up to show Mecha King King Ghidorah carrying his double straight. 
The two barely had time to scream before King Ghidorah was slain through the mother. Oh my. Completely destroying it in an explosion. This destruction of the computer control and sent King Ghidorah into a disori disoriented flailing before he finally went limp from st standing erect <laughs> and the electrocution. Mecha King Ghidorah flew straight towards Mount Fuji, flying high above the volcano and releasing King Ghidorah. But once prowled, Golden Hydra fell thousands of feet and smashed into the volcano. With enough force to smash to the ground and fall into the volcan volcano's magma chamber. Whether the corpse survived or not, King Ghidorah's body was forever out of human hands. That they use it for evil pers <laughs> purposes. Victorious Mecha King Ghidorah and its pilot disappeared into a time warp. Journey to the future once more. Winner, me, because High Psychidor finally got retired for a time. <laughs> and for once, I was happy until some <laughs> asshole decided to revive him. Yeah, until some, until some, until some, until some rude moron decided to unretire him. Yeah. And the uh, one moron wanted to bring him back in another Rota match. <laughs> but yeah, uh, oh boy, this I mean there. There are good points here, like, you could, it gets a little crazy, I think, but at the same time, I do kind of like some of the crazy aspects, like, oh, you know, the freaking Ghidorah's heads wrapping around each other and all that, that's always kind of fun. But I always did feel a touch lost, and, uh, like, there were a couple of sentences in there that were just run-on sentences, like, they just kept going and going, I'm like, good grief, when will the sentence end? Ugh. Yeah, I'm surprised those sentences passed. Yeah, I know. Like, passed, uh, like the editor or whatever at the time. Well, I don't think there was an editor back then. It was all Yeah, just... I was going to say, who was actually... I, I was going to actually ask if there was actually something that came to the system we have now, because I don't think there is. No, no, there wasn't. I... Every, everything was just sent straight to Titano Goji way back in the day. Or if they had access to Anthony, like Tom, you know, they just send their matches straight to Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, like that. I know in 2010, that's when they started adopting the current system. Well, the current system didn't come along until we came, became a thing, so that was like 2015. Mm -hmm. No, what I'm talking about is that during 2010, when I was first there, I recall there were three verifiers, and then they sent it to either Tom or Christian. I'll be right back. Really? Yeah. I do not remember there being any verifiers for... Yeah, there was uh, Living Quartz, and I... I'm oh, evil. That explain, God's that explains and that's a lot. another guy. Oh, Some okay. other guy. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, that explains everything. Okay, did we see facts, everyone? Anyway. Yeah. For me, while this may have been... So your... was, this, was, this, was this really Hasty Ghidorah's last match until, um, uh, yep. like, a hundred matches later? Yep. Yeah, it was a good a hundred matches. It's a, it's a hundred five matches. Yeah, a hundred five matches to be exact, but... Jeez. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, this was the last match Heisei Ghidorah was in, and I remember this was like, I like the match, I like the idea, but the fact that this was the last match made me really bummed, because I wanted to give Heisei Ghidorah a win before he was retired, but he never got that win. I'm gonna clean the fridge out tomorrow, I'm gonna just try and stay on Tuesday. But yeah, free, yeah. <laughs> uh, but actually, actually, for that matter, I've actually gotten into contact with some of the other like uh, former KWC guys, like Christian and Tom, recently. And I was actually told something, or in Anthony to an extent, just trying to uh, compose something for later in the KWC. But uh, what I learned that was interesting was that uh, uh, apparently. The match that came before this, uh, the three, uh, the three profit one, the uh, match fifty four was supposed to be the last Heisei Ghidorah match, and then he was supposed to be immediately retired and replaced with Grand King Ghidorah when he when Grand King Ghidorah came in. But things didn't go quite according to plan, so this was his retirement match. Um, like, for his retirement, I feel like for at least for the retirement match, he could have at least. Uh, uh Harley, you kind of cut out. Uh, yeah, stop speaking glitch. 
<laughs> Listen, I caught it. I, I'm going to blame Kaiju Wax. I caught it from him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, didn't we'll... take her, take her out to dinner and did some stuff. <laughs> didn't take her to Chuck E. Cheese, right? Yes. It's a secret. <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel like King Ghidorah, considering the fact this was supposed to be his retirement match, I felt like he should have gotten the win. Like at least, at least let him have one if he's going to be out. Mm -hmm. Right. Which was, which I think was supposed to be a pretty much permanent retirement. I, it was supposed to be that. Yeah. Well, something so, so, yeah. And everything. Technically, I ruined everything. If you want to be technical well, about it, but if you want to be technical, I ruined everything. Well, no, I ruined everything because it was my idea, and Grayshot approved of it. But then you could say Harley ruined everything because I got her wrapped into it. So, <laughs> I what? Why did Gray? I, I you know I just well, I never actually found out why King Ghidorah was how you say King Ghidorah was being unretired. Uh, cause I was pushing, I was probably one, I think I was probably one of the few p people that actively pushed for him, I made my arguments, I made my case, and Grayshot ultimately found, you know, a, I guess a way to convince Anthony to unretire him, so. He has to, wait, he has to go through Anthony? Why? Well, yeah, cause Anthony is the one that kind of dictates a lot of these calls, like, uh, like, you know, it, like, it, he's the reason why we might not have Shin Godzilla, or, or why Thank we're not God. having... Or why we're not having Legendary Kong, for example. Okay, I was because I okay because uh, forgive me for being for being a little confused about why Anthony would be the final say when Grayshot's supposed to be the head of the KWC. I mean, the K, uh, like in many respects, Grayshot is the head of the KWC, and a lot of what he says is very much like mostly gar almost guaranteed. But uh, Anthony's just kind of there to prevent things from going too wild. If that makes sense, okay. like, like if he feels like a certain addition is too crazy, then he'll uh, shoot it down. Well, he, he he's like the he's basically the president. He's allowed to veto it. Only we can't unveto it. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, any comments regarding the match? Uh, nice, solid beat em up match. You know, sentences went a little too long. Other than that, was this actually was this Mecha King Ghidorah's first match? I can't remember. Uh, yes, it was. Okay, so sort of like a passing of the torch. One Ghidorah rises, another Ghidorah goes away. It was funny because, as I mentioned earlier, uh. That passing of the torch was meant to go to Grand King Ghidorah. Like, match 54, the uh, three Lone Kings versus the three-headed king match, was meant to be the final Heisei Ghidorah match. And uh, when G Grand King Thank Ghidorah you, came Andrew. in, when Grand King Ghidorah came in, Heisei was supposed to be immediately retired. Okay, but... But, but circumstances did not work out way, that uh, way, so... Uh, by the way, Andrew. Yeah. Uh, match 54 is Godzilla, Heisei, and Angiras versus Gororin, so I crap. don't think you have the right match. Oh, it's crap. match 52, buddy. 52, 52, I'm sorry. <laughs> match 52. Yeah. You're a match! She's supposed to fight Gororin! <laughs> yeah, right! <laughs> <laughs> I think that myself, wait, what? <laughs> oh my goodness, but anyway, uh, Harley, did you, are... Uh, no, uh, Alex, did you have anything else to add on to match 60? Um, uh, I thought it was a solid match, despite what I said. I enjoyed it, and and I'm happy Kaisai Ghidorah was banned for a while, or retired. Needs more distraction. <laughs> Goodbye. For a bit. <laughs> oh, that was... 10, non, uh, 7 out of 10, none of water? Anyway, that was match 60, and we will see you guys next time for match 61. Until then, folks.